before we go, here's a Minerick DC drive. Can you all see that? There you go. And it's model number MM23001C. It's a nice little drive right there. It's a DC drive, runs a DC motor. Right here, the line L1 and L2 are applied to the drive. Up here, F1 and F2 terminals right there. That's for the field. The armature, here's A2, and over here is A1. And the speed potentiometer is attached to S2, S3, and S1. Now there's two switches right here. We're going to run this drive on 120 volts AC, uh, 90 volt DC armature. Right now it's set to 230 volt AC line, single phase, and a 180 volt armature. So I'm going to flip these switches to 115 and 90 volt. Let's go hook it up. Armature one. Armature two. Put the wire nuts off to the side. L1, L2, don't let those two get together, <laughs> we'll have some sparks flying. All right, now for the speed potentiometer. I've got a 5K single turn potentiometer. And the wiper goes on S2. And the wings of the potentiometer go to S1 and S3. See what we got. Looks like we're going to have to figure out how to adjust that IR comp. Use the IR comp potential. IR compensation. You get a little speed on Okay. document where it is set to right now. 
the first tick, second tick, third, fourth. It's pointing at the fifth tick mark on that potentiometer. There we go. We're running good now. Now if we want to run back the other way, we swap the armature wires. Let me turn the drive off. Turn that speed down a little bit. Unplug it from the wall so we don't get shocked. Okay, I'm going to swap the armature wires. A1 and A2. And we'll run back the other way. Right now it's running counterclockwise. Now, swapping the armature wires, we're running clockwise as looking into the shaft of that motor. Let's grab the oscilloscope and we'll look at the waveforms that make that DC motor run. Now we're running, not very fast. You can see here the SCRs that are firing to run that DC motor. And the average waveform is this center line right here. Let's speed it up and you'll see that all of this will move up. We're at 20 volts per division. There's one division, and you can see that the DC has moved up from zero volts. Let's slow it down. There, the motor stopped. The SCRs have stopped firing. There's 20 volts per division. There's about 30. It's one and a half divisions. Let's bring the time in a little bit. Here are the SCRs firing. Now when we get done, we have to set the line and armature selector switches, the voltage selector switches, back to the way they came in. And we're going to have to move that IR comp potentiometer back up to five ticks. So that when it goes back to the customer, it'll properly work in his machine. <laughs> You know what? Let's put a light bulb out there and then we'll look at the waveforms and see if they're different with an actual DC motor load as compared to a light bulb load. Because if you don't have a DC motor, you can run a light bulb on this drive to simulate the DC motor. Let me stop the drive, slow that down to zero, unplug the drive from the wall, we don't want to get lit up, and I'm going to hook a light bulb up to the A1 and A2 armature terminals. 
Hold on a little bit. I'll unwire that motor and we'll put a light bulb in there. There's one side of the motor. There's the other side of the motor. I get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I've got a 120 volt light bulb, 100 watt. I'm connecting it to A1 and A2 with these wire nuts. Let's plug the drive back in. Increasing the speed potentiometer. Look at this. Looks different, doesn't it? I'm gonna I've gone from 20 volts per division to 50 volts per division. And you can see the SCRs firing. But notice because this is not an inductive load, we stay at ground. But we control the power out to the light bulb by increasing this waveform right here. I'm going to go to 100 volts per division. Now right there with the potentiometer settings of the drive we are at half power. If we were at full power, you would see full rectification right here of that waveform. So you can test these DC drives with a light bulb load to simulate the DC motor. It just looks a little bit different. <laughs> okay. All right, folks. We're going to power down and then. Uh, set the voltage selector switches back to the way they came in. 230 volts for the line, 180 volts for the armature. We're going to set IR comp, uh, the IR comp potentiometer back to 5 ticks. That's a good run and drive. No problems with it. Hope you all's having a good day out there. We're not doing too bad here. Not doing too bad at all. Let's unbuckle that drive and get on out of here. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of our Sunday. All right. Okay. Folks, we'll see you next time.
Now she's just like she, she was when she come in here. <laughs>